736, time to focus on business news. Our business editor, Mike Apple, joining us now. Mike, $29 billion, maybe just the tip of the iceberg for CP Rail, <laughs> trying to buy an American competitor, right? Yeah, indeed, Ted, and welcome back. By the way, Thank the uh, market responding this morning to the bid that was made official last night. It had been discussed that uh, CP was looking at Norfolk Southern as a possible acquisition target to get north south routes for, uh, you know, instead of just the east west corridor for CP. And it's all about shipping and making it easier to go cross border because when they go into the States and they're on somebody else's rail line, then they have to move cars around and transfer goods so it takes up a lot of time you buy Norfolk Southern and lo and behold you can really free up a lot of transportation through some of the big hubs like Chicago well Norfolk Southern is looking over the bid and some of the rhetoric that they've uh, put out in their statement in response to the CP offer it's a low premium it's going to face all sorts of regulatory hurdles and uh, they're basically signaling uh, 29 billion dollars US isn't going to get it done so $94 per share is the start Starting price, the shares of Norfolk Southern up by about 7% right off the bat this morning uh, below the offer. And keep in mind, too, that uh, CP might be looking at Norfolk Southern as a relative bargain because the stock this year is down so far by 20%. Uh, we have another good morning for earnings from the retail sector. And the top of the list is Lowe's, the second biggest home improvement retailer, saying very much what its competitor Home Depot said yesterday. Uh, numbers in the third quarter were good, and Americans are spending an awful lot on home improvements because real estate values have gone up. So you mixed Lowe's with Home Depot and Walmart and also Target, which reported this morning, all these companies are actually doing pretty good right now, and uh, that bodes well for the Christmas shopping season. Canada Goose, the luxury we'll call it luxury or high-end winter wear company is open or has opened its second factory in Winnipeg it's got another one here in Toronto and lots of distribution worldwide taking that brand globally so that's going to be kind of interesting to see exactly how it does overseas again with a high price tag and labor piece at Air Canada the uh, uh, flight attendants uh, have uh, ratified a 10-year contract under uh, a QP union and uh, that makes it now five for five for Air Canada and labor deals they ratified with the uh, pilots last year. So uh, uh, the company dealing with a much reduced uh, fuel cost, full seats, and uh, labor peace potentially here for the next decade at the nation's biggest airline. Ted, back to you. All right, good stuff.